Hey everybody, it's Mary. Thanks for stopping by. We are going to do something today that's a little unusual. I like cooking in my air fryer, as I'm sure most of you do. Have you ever baked potatoes in your air fryer? That's what we're going to do today. I have three potatoes that I've washed. Okay. I have a knife. I'm just going to prick some holes in there for the steam to escape. Do you guys bake potatoes a lot? Do you use them in the regular oven? Do you use your microwave? I like a crisp skin on the outside of mine, to be honest. And the microwave is fast and convenient, but it just doesn't give them that crispness that I'm looking for. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of vegetable oil, and folks, you can use olive oil easily, but this is what I had easily accessible, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to pour just a little bit on my hand. I'm going to rub it on here. Super easy prep, folks. And I have enough that I can rub the last one with what's left. Okay, let me dry my hands off. I have some sea salt, and I'm just going to sprinkle over the outside of these. Not a lot, because we don't like a lot of salt. Okay. And then oil. I have my basket. I'm just going to pick it up, and I'm going to flip it over with the previously salted side down. Now, folks. You need to have this preheated. I turned it off for um, video purposes because this is a very old air fryer and it is probably a lot louder than what your air fryer is. But this needs to be preheated to 400 degrees. So put this back in here, put it on 400. And we got the time for 30 and the temperature for 400. Okay. We're going to let that cook until the 30 minutes is up. Then I'm going to take the potatoes out. I'm going to use tongs because they're going to be hot. And flip them over and finish baking them. They'll probably need about 20 more minutes. But we're going to have a nice crisp skin on these potatoes. This just kicked off for the first 30 minutes, so I'm going to flip them over. Oh, they have a nice looking skin on there. Okay, I'm putting them back in for 20 minutes on 400, and then we'll check them. They should be nice and tender. If they're not done in 20, then we'll just have to add five more minutes. Simple. And there we go. Alrighty, the air fryer just kicked off. Guys, that's a little warm. So always be careful when you take the air fryer out, especially if you get your hand somewhere near this little button right here. Okay. There's my potato. As you can see, it's nice and tender. It gives a lot with the tongs. So, let's see if we can do this with the tongs. Just squeeze it and it pop up. And of course not. You hear that crunch? Mm. There we go. Man, oh man. That looks fantastic. Okay. What do you like on your potato? Personally, I like butter and I like sour cream. So I'm gonna put a pat of butter and a big dollop of sour cream. Now, folks, I don't use a huge amount of salt. I did put a little bit on the outside of the potato and that is plenty for me, but 
just throw some pepper on there. And folks, that to me is a fantastic baked potato. Or should I say air fried potato? You really should give that a uh, chance. It's fast prep work. It's easy to do. And you've got that crunch, which I love. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on that next video.